here, Dave here, Ben Teardrop. We do lots of snow camping and lots of snow adventures and I got into snowmobiling about five years ago. It's been super fun cruising around and all that stuff and but when I found uh, this thing come through, the moon bike, the electric snow bike, I just had to try it. So here's Ben Teardrop's official review of the moon bike. So the moon bike is an electric snow bike from France. The batteries go inside here, inside the shell. I've just got one, but you can add a second. Um, I, this is custom. I just added a little um, snowboard rack there for backcountry stuff. But this is what you got. You've got uh, a couple settings for different performance levels. Speed here, and it's got reverse, which is key. It's a little bit squirrely on ice or hard pack stuff, but it's really fun on powder. And it's way more maneuverable than your uh, than a snowmobile on powder. Let's we'll go take it for a spin. a snow bike because unlike a snowmobile it doesn't have the two foils on the front it's got this single skid and it looks like my kid's snowboard it looks like a miniature snowboard and underneath down, um, you got a little skid in the center just like a snowmobile skid but it's not soft plastic it's actually like you know snowboard material and the major advantage of this over any snowmobile I've ever had is the weight can't do this with a snowmobile. Not without jacking up your back. So now that I've had a chance to thoroughly test this thing out, um, I can give you my pros and cons. Lightweight, it's 182 pounds with one battery. So like another 26 pounds if you add the second battery, so still just right around 200. My last snowmobile was a Polaris RMK that was 450 plus with a full gas tank. Hand warmers, I really wish the had handlebar warmers. It's pretty cold cruising around. Um, you know, even the older snowmobiles have hand warmers. It would be nice to have, see if they added that on. Uh, it's quiet, super quiet. Uh, normal snowmobile is very loud, aggressive. Uh, this is whisper quiet. You're just cruising around, sneaking up on people. The suspension leaves a little something to be desired in the back. It's pretty stiff. You could use a little more cushion on the back here. And also all the weight is on the back of the bike. So when you're doing a hill that's over like 45 degrees, you can starts to pop a wheelie and you really kind of have to shift your weight forward and it's a little tricky because of this head tube that is angled back in such a way. So I would definitely, if I was making it, I would adjust the head tube so it's more up and down like a, like a mountain bike and try to shift more of the weight forward. It's fun in powder but not deep powder. So once you get into like over like 10 inches of powder, I was up the other day, when it's really deep this thing is pretty hard to maneuver through deep powder like that. The big thing for me is smoke. There's no smoke. Snowmobiles put off a ton of smoke. You kind of have to have a separate set of clothes for snowmobiling versus other winter sports because you just ruin them with two strokes. You know, the top speed on this thing is 26 miles an hour, which is uh, pretty slow compared to a snowmobile. It doesn't go super far on a charge. I would say about 10 miles on one battery, so 20 on another battery, depending on how deep the powder is and stuff like that. Um, but that's okay. Um, for me personally, I really kind of have these kind of things for access to the backcountry. So you can get back there and go skiing or whatever and hiking around. Um, and this will get you up there in the spots that uh, you can't really get to otherwise. But uh, just the fact that it's quiet and smokeless and lightweight um, makes it for big pluses for me. Is I would say right now, if I had to rate it, I would say 
8 out of 10 stars. The Moonbug from France.